All right, guys, so we're going to make this print. This is the 2.9 inch teardrop bushing. And if you don't have a print or you want one, uh, you can download a print from the link in the description. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new design. And I'm going to create a sketch. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in top view. I'm going to place a circle. And I'm just going to place it in my origin. So I'm going to go 2.9 inch. Hit enter. Then I'm going to place another circle. And I'm going to keep it lined up center to center with the 2.9. And this one's going to be 0.75 times 2. Alright, so now I'm going to go to dimension. I'm going to click on each of these circles. And we're going to dimension it 3.25 inch apart. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and save this. Um, I'm going to save this as 2.9 inch. Teardrop bushing. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do, since I'm going to use the tangent tool, uh, sometimes with the tangent tool, you can um, kind of move your geometry around when you really don't want to. <laughs> so, if, if you get over constrained. So, um, if you're not super familiar with the tangent tool, probably the best thing to do is just go over here, go ahead and fix these. I'm going to hit escape to exit the fix tool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to align and I'm just going to hover on this main circle. Now when I come up to the smaller diameter, when I hover uh, past the center a little bit, see how it picks up the tangent snap point? And if you, if you look at the little symbol, it's the same symbol as the tangent. Let's see where to go. Alright, so when I did that, notice that this line isn't tangent right here. It's tangent right here, but not here. So the next thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to go, I'm going to click on this line, and I'm going to go to my tangent tool, and then I'm going to click on this circle. And as you notice, the, uh, the line moved into position. Alright, so I'm going to hit escape on my keyboard. <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing, okay? So I'm going to go back to line, I'm just going to click uh, anywhere on this larger circle and I'm going to go past the center of the smaller one and when I pick up the little the little tangent symbol pops up, I'm going to click right there. And if you look, this line kind of blends into the side right here of that arc. That's what you want. Now, I don't know if I'm really tangent right there. I'm, I'm close, but let's go ahead and select this line, go to tangent, and select this arc. Okay, so it, the line didn't move much. I, I mean, I don't even know if it moved at all, but we now have that tangent constraint. That's what we needed. Alright, so I'm going to hit escape to exit that function. And on my keyboard, I'm going to hit T for trim. I'm going to trim these up. And I'm going to go to circle. And if you look at the print, the smallest diameter is two inches, so I'm going to go two inches, hit enter, and that, that's on the counter board. And the tapped hole is a three quarter inch, so I'm going to hit C for circle, hover to the snap point, center snap point, and I'm just going to type in 0.75. Alright, so the part is 0.8 inches tall in height. So I'm going to hit E for extrude, and I'm going to click on my, my profile I just drew up right here. Should look something like that. And I'm going to pull it up 0.8 inches. So that's something that looks like this, right? Let's go ahead and hit save. Okay, so I still have to draw the counter board right here, so I'm going to create a new sketch. Click on the top of the part, 
and I'm going to go to circle. And if you look at the drawing, the, the diameter of the counter bore itself is 2.236. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that up first, and let's go ahead and extrude that down, extrude cut, and it's going down minus 0.7, go ahead and hit save. Next thing I'm going to do is I have a snap ring groove inside the counter board. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go back create another sketch. Uh, the snap ring groove is 2.375 ID. So I'm going to go to circle 2.375 and let's hit enter. Okay, so <clears throat> this is where some people have trouble. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to extrude cut this from this surface. But we're going to offset it down so it cuts the groove inside of the part. Okay, and it's going to look something like this. Let's, let's hit save. All right, so I'm going to hit E for extrude. And I'm going to select my... Snap ring feature snap ring groove. Uh, okay, so right here, V start. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do from a offset plane, and we're gonna offset down. And if you look at the drawing, V snap ring groove doesn't start till 0.2 down, right? So I'm gonna go minus 0.2, and Okay, the snap ring groove is 100,000. Sometimes you may have to actually pull this arrow down. Uh, just be careful. Uh, make sure the right distance is, um, is changing. Okay, so the snap ring groove is 0.1 wide. So I'm just going to go minus point, minus point 0.1. Alright, and it's offset down minus point 0.2. Okay, so if you look at the drawing, it's a hundred thousands wide snap ring groove that that starts 0.2 down deep. All right, so I'm gonna hit OK, and I have something that looks like this. Looks good. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this into a thread. So I'm gonna do is go over here to create, and I'm gonna go down to thread. I'm gonna click on this ID. And we're going to change it to a 0.75 uh, dash 10 UNC. So I'm going to I'm going to check this model because I want it to be modeled. And that's our part.